folks, Irotron here, bringing you another game review video. As many of you know, I play video games with the intent of not only bringing myself enjoyment, but to bring you hard-hitting facts about releases. This way, you can make an educated decision on an upcoming purchase. So, with that being said, this review is my own two cents. And it's subjective. Whatever, here we go. Everyone has been talking about Fallout 4 since it was officially announced back in June. This is definitely one of the, if not the, most anticipated titles of the past few years. Heck, my nephew has been talking about this game non-stop since it was announced. This game has been terrorizing the poor kid and others since then. Fortunately, the fine folks over at Bethesda took the edge off by providing us with Fallout shelters. Anyways, uh, speaking of which, did you fail to play that beastie? Um, if so, I suggest you check it out. It's not too bad. Also, for you guys looking for a modified version that provides you with the game-winning edge, make certain to scope out my video history. Uh, you will find what you are looking for there. Anyways, back to Fallout 4. As you know, the story begins with the world on the brink of war. A few groups decide to detonate nuclear weapons on the old United States of America, and your player and his family are whisked away to ride out the Fallout. Well, not technically, because unlike Fallout 3, you're frozen. Anyways, flash forward 200 years, and you've been thawed, and you come to realize that the love of your life has been killed, and your baby has been kidnapped. You can guess where it goes from there. You venture out on, uh, on your adventure that results in possibly the rescue of the planet and your child. Anyways, man, it sounds like a combination for excitement to me. I think you're really going to like the story. Now, as all of you know, the Fallout series hasn't ever been the kind of game where you just beat it overnight. This is really no different. In fact, you can easily invest over 100 hours and not cover everything. Uh, Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain comes to mind. I have nearly 50 hours into that game and I'm only 32% complete. So, in short, hope you set aside a week's worth of vacation time because that's what you'll need to make your way through this beast. Another aspect that carried over from the previous Fallout games is the difficulty and the learning curve. Holy crap, is this game challenging. Not only will the enemy threats stress your skills for survival, but the sheer scope of the game will challenge your resolve. What I mean is this. Remember playing through Fallout 3 when you found yourself asking the following questions? Like, what the heck am I doing? Where am I supposed to go? And... What am I doing here? Well, that carries over in full Fallout fashion. So are you ready for that? I guess, like it or not, you better be. Anyways, we'll talk more about that here in just a moment. Let's take a minute and discuss the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or the VTATS for short. So, like Max Payne, you can slow time, and you are allowed to shoot your enemy. Targeting the arm, the helmet or the crotch. You can make that call, but I have a feeling you're going for the crotch. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just playing with you. Anyways, it's pretty awesome. I uh, like the early alert system in Metal Gear Solid 5. It's incredibly satisfying. Anyways, um, along with the targeting folks, you'll need weapons. And this game has plenty that you will find or confiscate and you can construct on your own. This will require material and peeps uh, basically to get this accomplished. So you're going to have to meet people, you're going to have to talk, you're going to have to go around scrummaging up things in order to build these pretty uh, complicated weapons. And uh, speaking of accomplishments, there are so many activities and side operations to complete. It will take you quite a while to complete them all. Again, 100 hours, folks, at least. That's my assessment there. All right, now you better brace yourself for some truth, folks. To provide you 100 hours of gameplay, you have to believe that some of the operations and missions, sorry, too much Metal Gear Solid 5, are somewhat meaningless, normally resulting in the gamer not actually caring about what is happening. In fact, you might even lose scope of what you're looking to accomplish. Yeah, I kid you not, it's just one of those things where the map, <clears throat> the missions, there's so many like these run-of-the-mill missions where you just don't really care anymore. And in my opinion, it doesn't live up to, like, the side ops that you experience in Metal Gear Solid Five. At least with those, I was able to play through them over and over again without any 
yeah, any disdain in my in my opinion. I had a great time. It was a lot of fun. But with this, I just was kind of bored going through some of the side ops or whatever you want to call them, quests. Anyways, that's my biggest gripe with this game, though. Some aspects are just somewhat interesting, and it's so long. And uh, But it's funny, that was my problem with Fallout 3, too. So it shouldn't be surprising to see this problem carry over to the latest in the series. Uh, next up, let's talk about graphics and sound. This game looks great, and uh, it is a solid update from Fallout 3. The problem is, though, Fallout 3 came out seven years ago. The character models look fine from time to time, and the environments look great also from time to time. It just isn't consistent enough for me, though. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Guys, post down below. Let's hear it. Xbox One and PlayStation 4 players can expect the same experience. This definitely doesn't push either console to the max. The PC edition isn't that much different either, and that really isn't surprising. Uh, once you see what you're dealing with, you'll understand why. So, in conclusion, we have ourselves a great game and story. We have good visuals, but nothing amazing. Definitely not the leap we expected from Fallout 3. Even though the game will take over 100 hours to complete, one can run from one side of the map to the other in only 11 minutes. That means you better get ready to revisit locations. A lot. Anyways, this game is for Fallout lifers who adore the series. For those of you who are just entering the fray, you may not be as blown away as the fanboys. Anyways, guys, this is Irotron. Thanks very much for tuning in. Make certain to post down below and let me know your thoughts on our review of this game and um, your thoughts on it as well. Make certain to like and subscribe. Head over to our Facebook page if you like the social media thing. And folks, we'll talk to you soon. Hoorah! Rock like this, rock like that. Go ahead and get your grown man on. Drop it like this, drop it like that. Go ahead and get your grown woman on. Give me a bag of good and a bunch of trees. Cause everyone too tough to be rocking like this. So come on, shake the load up. Come on, on. shake loose your strength. I got a bit for yet and I can't miss my chance. Cause shorty looking too good with the way she dance. So come on, shake the load up. Come on, shake loose your strength.